So back to the uh, back to the desktop applications. Like you said, uh, it, it, it may seem super crazy at the beginning, but when you start thinking about it, it's something that makes a lot of sense. And actually, when you look at the desktop development scene, uh, the, the, there is already Electron, which has been out there for for quite some time. Which is right now, I guess, the most popular alternative or option available if you wanna use JavaScript for desktop development. It is also what, for example, Visual Studio Code has been built on top of, and, and I guess others as well, such as Atom from GitHub, if anybody remembers this editor. Uh, it may be actually quite popular right now, so I'm not sure if saying if anybody remembers was a good call for this one, but um, there was such a development as well in the past. So I guess my question is, how does React Native Windows compare against Electron? Because I guess this is the main alternative and, and other frameworks, if there are any on the market right now. Uh, well, uh, Electron and, and React Native uh, both share the, the same uh, environment, so to say. Uh, but Electron utilizes the, the similar idea to like, uh, I would say, develop web development in general, because uh, you create a, a view and, and just, just a logic behind it. And that is great, uh, because uh, you don't have to bother yourself with anything else, uh, right? Uh, so, but yeah, but, but, but what if you do? What if you need to utilize some DLS? Uh, what if you would like to utilize some native layout uh, and, and native look just to get closer to a system that, that your app is launched on? Uh, what if you would uh, like to access the, the API of your OS? Uh, will it still be possible with the Electron? If yes, how easy will it be? Uh, well, do, do you have the environment for it? And uh, React Native, uh, to be honest, answers all those questions. Because uh, if, if we look at the JavaScript once again, mm, trends were changing. Uh, even on embedded, we had uh, the, the, bare metal, the bare metal development. Uh, well, we still have some, some, from, some for some crucial systems. Uh, but now we have, for, for, for example, the Raspberry Pi uh, with Node.js development. And it, it may look crazy as well because uh, why would you use the, the JavaScript for, for embedded systems? But, but that seems to be uh, okay because uh, right now we can, we can make a choice. Uh, we can de develop some JavaScript application, but we also remember that under the hood that there is a bare metal application uh, which kind of like expose the, the API that you are using. Uh, well, you, you, you're using it ab above when you are de developing the, the JavaScript code. Uh, so, and, and the same idea is, is with the React Native Windows and Electron, because uh, if you think about your project, if you think about all the layers that you will have and, and, and the purpose of your application, you will see that there is a huge, so to say, difference between Electron and React Native Windows, because React Native Windows allows you to make a choice whether or not you, uh, you will tackle with the with the native layer that is under the the hood of the react native windows framework yeah and i i guess you know like you said it's all about the options and um when you were giving this description and comparison uh, it came to my mind that it's it's like choosing between react native or pwas kind of for mobile development if you look at react native windows and an electron and I don't know why, you know, just 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 came this just 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 came to my mind that, like when I was starting desktop development, uh, when I was about to write my um, native app, when I was about to do mobile application first, everybody said go do it natively because iOS is fun and so on and so on. So I was kind of confused whether to go with React Native at first. But when I was about to do native desktop application, everybody said don't even go Windows way. It's like super messy and very hard. So I guess. Uh, I kind of face this general impression that desktop development itself is kind of tricky. So I guess having JavaScript layer might help with the accessibility of that. Yeah, um, I think the same. Yeah, so I'm happy that you are now kind of going towards React Native way that that is probably a bit easier than your previous experience in terms of like the development itself. but. Um, since React Native Windows is kind of early stage, I guess there are still some hiccups, but we'll get to that later anyways. So uh, so like I said, um, I guess just to wrap up, uh, because we kind of off-topped for, for a bit, the, 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 like the main difference between React Native Windows and Electron, like you said, is, is, is that 
React Native sort of utilizes the native layouts, controls, and, and as, a, yeah. as a result, you probably, yeah, you probably get closer to the native look and feel, and, and you kind of get a native looking platform. 